Hi dear followers, welcome back to our channel. Today we would discuss gastrointestinal bleeding. Gastrointestinal GI bleeding is a symptom of a disease in the digestive tract. It is considered upper GI bleeding if the bleeding comes from the esophagus, the stomach, up to the first part of the small intestine. Anything beyond this point is considered to come from the small intestine until its end. Anything beyond this point in the colon or the rectum is considered lower GI bleed. Two thirds of the GI bleeds are upper. Most of it comes from gastric ulcers or esophageal varices or some abrasions or tumors. Bleeding can be either acute when it happens sudden and it can sometimes be severe or chronic when it happens in small amounts and lasts for long time or may come and go. GI bleeding is a symptom of a disease rather than a disease itself. Often, you do not know you are bleeding because it's happening inside your body. But sometimes there are signs that it is happening, and it depends on the location and how severe your bleeding is. These include black or tarry stool, bright red blood and vomit, or vomit that looks like coffee grounds, cramps in the abdomen, dark or bright red blood mixed with stool, dizziness or faintness, feeling tired, paleness, weakness, shortness of breath. If the acute bleeding is big, the patient may suffer from a drop in blood pressure, little or no urination, a rapid pulse, unconsciousness. These are symptoms of shock. If you have any of these symptoms, you or someone should call 911 right away. With chronic bleeding, the patient may suffer from symptoms of anemia, which include feeling tired and shortness of breath. See our video on anemia on our channel. Some GI bleedings might not be noticed by the patient and only picked up by a stool test and is called occult bleed. To know and treat the cause of the bleeding, your doctor may order some tests like stool and blood tests or endoscopy of the upper or lower GI tract. See the videos about gastroscopy and colonoscopy in our channel. Further tests may be required to identify the exact source and apply the necessary measures to stop it. Treatment would be applied during the endoscopy by injecting some medicine or cauterizing or clipping the bleeding vessel. Sometimes surgical intervention is needed. Residual anemia should be treated because it contributes to the patient's suffering. This could be achieved by oral iron supplement or intravenous iron, which is a safe and effective way to correct the anemia. Blood transfusion is usually preserved for the critically ill patients. Finding the cause of the bleed and treating it helps to prevent another attack, like treating H. pylori and stopping some medications for peptic ulcer, or removing tumors that could bleed, or banding esophageal varices. Do not hesitate to call your doctor if you have any bleeding symptoms. Wishing you a joyful, healthy life. Follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and subscribe to our channel on YouTube. Also, visit our website, www.saudigastro.com, 